What is up, YouTube? Dots Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you guys an updated version of my add on installation guide. So, when I did this guide the first time, I kind of just basically said, Hey, if you want to install add ons, install Minion, it'll do the rest. And then I showed how to fix like an error that you'd get in game that actually no longer exists. Um, I think it was one of the patches after Morrowind basically fixed that issue where you no longer need to put that line in your notepad, like the add-on settings and basically the game kind of takes care of it itself. But I wanted to make kind of like a more in-depth minion guide to kind of show you, you guys basically how the program works, um, kind of go over common problems because now that that guide's been out for a very long time, I basically get the same type of complaints and uh, issues that people are asking about. So I hope that this guy will be able to clear these things up. So moving right into it, you need to install Minion from Minion.gg. In my opinion, it is the best way and the best program to handle add-ons for the Elder Scrolls Online. I don't think Curse is nearly as good because this one pulls from MMOUI, which is where the majority of the ESO add-ons are created. A lot of the add-ons that you will find through a program like Curse are extremely out of date. So I personally don't recommend that and I think Minion is a much stronger program. Also, Minion helps keep all your add-ons updated, installs everything in the correct folders, and, and you don't have to worry about manually updating your add-ons if you choose to manually install them yourself. So simply go to minion.gg and download Minion, download whatever version of Minion you need. Um, obviously, this is for PC only. There are no add-ons on Xbox or PS4. Install Minion and power it up. And when you install Minion for the first time, it'll scan for games and it will find the Elder Scrolls Online. So now you'll have the Elder Scrolls Online here on the left. This is your list of games. And then here is a list of all your add-ons. Obviously, when you fresh install it, it will be blank. So what you want to do is go to Find More. And you can just look through all the add-ons, you can search through the add-ons, and then you just simply click install, 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 which on whichever ones you want, and boom, the add-ons are installed and you're good to go. It is literally that simple. But, of course, from time to time, there are people that do have problems and do have issues. Um, but actually, before I go into that, there's one quick thing I do want to talk about. Um, I know I, at one point, had an add-on where... It, I didn't want it to update where that add-on, the, the version that I had was a version that I was specifically using for my guild. And then if it updated, it wouldn't work with the other guild mates add-ons anymore. So if you want to, for, for example, prevent an add-on from displaying update, because basically whenever an add-on needs to be updated, when you open this up, it'll show your installed add-ons. There'll be an update button over here and you can just click it and it'll update your add-on. You just simply right click your add-on and click ignore updates that simple and also you can reinstall the add-on uninstall the add-ons delete saved variables etc but a lot of common problems i run into are people going dots it didn't find the elder scrolls online what do i do so you click the gears up here and you scroll down to reset like reset the st the problems you're having you know if, you, if it can't detect any existing add-ons you have click reset add-on detection Click reset game detection or reset allowed hardware to re reset the list of allowed hard drives Minion can scan. So clicking any of these buttons that specifically um, will help fix your situation it will fix a lot of the detection issues that a lot of people have <clears throat> because I know a lot of people have complained to me about that. Another thing you can double check, if, for example, you it finds Elder Scrolls Online and installs the add-ons, but you still don't see the add-ons in game. What you can do is go to options here and this game add-on folder path. Make sure that it is, you know, wherever your um, your Elder Scrolls Online slash live slash add-ons are. I know for me, that's in the documents folder um, on my computer. So C, users, whatever your profile name is, documents, Elder Scrolls Online live add-ons. So double check that your game add-on folder path for ESO is set to that folder. I mean, at least that's the way mine is. So just double check that that you have yours the same way. Also, a really, really cool thing that you can do with Minion is you can back up your add-ons. It backs up your add-ons, your saved variables, game settings, all that stuff. So if you're transferring from one computer to another, you can simply make a backup with Minion, restore from backup, and boom, you'll be set to go. I know I personally did that when I changed from my old computer to my new computer. Um and yeah, I mean, there's also this update all here button for, for you to be able to update things. You can see the number of downloads, number of favorites, um, the version of all the add-ons and 
yeah, that's pretty much it. If you click on an add-on, it'll show you all the information about the add-on, change log, you can visit the website. It's a really, really powerful program. I like it, and I think it is the best way to install your add-ons. But that's it for me today, guys. I just wanted to go over a really quick guide on how to install add-ons for ESO. I don't, I didn't feel that my last version was as robust and as in-depth as it could have been, so hopefully this version helped you out. And if you are having any of the issues that, uh, you know, that I went over, here where you know wasn't detecting this or you wasn't installing to the right folder hopefully those things helped you if you do run into that memory error that you see in game refer to my old add-on guide i do show how to fix that but i don't think that problem exists anymore i actually took that line out of my settings and i haven't run into that issue so i don't think it should be a problem anymore but in the event that for some reason you do refer to my old add-on installation guide and it shows you how to fix that but I just want to thank you guys for watching this video today. If you liked it, if you found that this was helpful for you, please slap a like on the video. For more ESO guides and gameplay, builds, montages, etc., some Black Ops 4 content, and even some Destiny 2 content, I appreciate it if you hit that sub button as well as hit the little bell to make sure that you keep notifications on. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next video.